Usually we see the kings sitting or standing in solid and rigid position. But here King Edith Moses served represented in kneeling position and he's making offering in front of the gods and goddess. He's holding jars supposed to contain wine and milk and honey and he's making offering for the gods and goddess. Also the king represented with all signs of reality. He represented wearing this headdress, we call it Nemes, and it is only for the royal blood. And he's wearing Shindit kilt, also for the royal blood. With a cobra for protection, with false beard. Look to the facial features of the king. Delicate nose, delicate mouth, and he's smiling. Also, let's read the hieroglyphic on the face of the statue. He's so beating. And this is one of the titles of the kings in ancient Egypt, which means king of the north and south. Men Heber Ra, the name of the king written in cartouche. This shape called cartouche. Men Heber Ra. Then the name of God Emin, Mri Emin, beloved by God Amun. So King Tutmuz III, the beloved one of God Emin. Here we have nine bows under the leg of the king. And these bows usually refer to the enemies of Egypt, so all the enemies of Egypt under the leg and the feet of the king. Let's read the inscription on the back of the statue. Sa Ra, which means son of God Ra, in Red F from his body. So King Tutmus III is the son of God Ra from his body. Then the name of the king written in shape, in this shape, we call it cartouche. Inside the cartouche, Jehuti Mes, or Tohot Mes. God Jehuti was the God of Wisdom, so King Tutmus III is the son of God Jehuti. Nefer Heber, the God Appearance. Then, here was the name of God Emin, but now it demolished. And then Mary, which means beloved. So, Mary Emin, beloved of God Emin, so King Tutmus III also is the beloved one of God Emin. Anch Jet, which means given life forever. This is a statue made out of granite. This was King Moses III, Amkrolus, and this is Mayor of Guidance.